Through this demo, we will create a simple load balancing rule. Before creating a load balancer, I'll create a public IP to use as the front end IP address for the load balancer. So I'll go to the public IP addresses extension here and I'll click new. Add a name. For the IP address allocation method, I'll choose dynamic here because I don't have a specific IP address in mind. I'll let the IP address to just be chosen for me from the public IP pool. Hit submit. And now we have a public IP resource. Next, I'll go to the load balancer extension to create my load balancer. I'll choose a public IP type. Note that you can also use IP address type, which will assign the IP address directly to the load balancer. You wouldn't even have to create a public IP resource. But the only difference in that case is that if you delete the load balancer, the IP address is returned to the IP pool. While the public IP will be useful if you want to reserve that IP address for future use without it going back to the IP pool. And that's what we're doing here. So I'll select the public IP address that I just created. And if you hadn't created any at this point, you can use this link to go to the public IP extension and do that. Now within the load balancer that we just created, um, I see the public IP address that I assigned as the front end IP address here. And now we will create our backend pool. I'll assign a name. And I'll choose VM1 and VM2 to be part of that pool. Now I'll also create a health probe. I'll assign a name. I'll choose port 80 with five second intervals and 11 here. Then I'll finally create my load balancing rule. You'll see that a lot of the options get populated automatically for you. Uh, we'll just have to choose the ports here. Uh, it's going to be port 80 for both and the idle timeout. Now that we have the load balancer set up, let's go and test this connection. Now I'm pinging here port 80 of the public IP address. Of course, before creating this public IP resource and the load balancing rule, this connection wouldn't have gone through. But we see here that it indeed goes through. If I go to the first backend VM, VM1, I'll find that we are listening on port 80 and all these results are from the health probe that has been pinging the port every five seconds. I also have set up a packet capture with the source IP as a filter to see where did the pings go. Let's run the counters here and we'll see that we got no traffic. If you go to the second backend VM, VM2, I'll find the same setup and I see the pings have made it here. If I retry the connection now, now I see the pings are making it to VM1 as well. So there you have it, a load balancing rule setup and the load balancing rule in action. Thank you for watching.